<laughs> you know, when I started out as an electronics designer, I remember going down to the local college library where they had this huge catalog of component data sheets, all indexed alphanumerically by component manufacturer and then part type, and they were all on microfiche slides. And I had to put them in this big old clunky microfiche projector and then pay 10 cents a copy to get the pages that I wanted copied on a photostat machine so I could take them back to the office. But what really frustrated me about that whole process, even though having the data was good, was I had no idea if the parts I was looking at were still available, if there were any alternatives, who could supply them, and what sort of prices I'd be paying. So it made it kind of hard to use that information to choose how to develop a product. Fortunately, the internet was just around the corner, and we all know all the companies that had foresight started putting their data sheets available for free download on their web pages, and that was great. We've come a long way since then, and most good EDA or CAD tools have attempted in some way to link component data and their part libraries so that you can use that in your design process, design re reviews, and so on. But there's nothing's really quite done it right until now. I'm Ben Jordan, and today I want to show you how Altium has been collaborating with leading component vendors to bring you clutter-free, complete libraries and component source searching capabilities that make your kitting, BOM pr uh, pricing and parts generation and purchasing, along with your design decisions, very easy. Come and take a look. For some time now, schematic components in Altium Designer have allowed you to add any kind of parametric information to them, and then have those parameters added to your bill of materials. The Parameter Manager offers a very convenient way of getting access to those parameters, and globally adding parameters to all components in a library or a design project. You can use this method to quickly add Vendor Component Stock Keeping Unit, or SKU or SKU numbers, which can then be added to the Bill of Materials, or BOM, later on. For example, I can simply add new columns for DigiKey and Newark part numbers like this, as well as unit cost fields. The plus sign that appears in each cell indicates the change is scheduled in the engineering change order so you have a chance to review the changes before executing them. I can go ahead and execute this change now through the ECO process. Now, when I open any component's properties, the new parameter is in there and I can enter the vendor SKU numbers and pricing information. Alternatively, I can use the parameter manager to add this information to each part. Here's an example I prepared earlier. Obviously not without some effort, you can see I've put in price and supplier SKUs for all these parts. Now the advantage is that I can easily use the BOM generator to create a purchase order for these parts. I'll show you how that's done a little bit later on. But for now, here's a spreadsheet BOM that I made using this information straight from the tool. I can email or fax this as a PO straight to the part vendor. I think by now you can start to see a lot of extra benefit in having user-definable component parameters. Well, it gets even better. Component parameters can also be used to link useful information about that component, such as the manufacturer's website, or the datasheet, or even supporting application notes and other reference material. I'm going to add a DigiKey web page URL for this particular MOSFET. I'll add two parameters. The component link description, which contains the text I want to appear in the component menu, and the component link URL, which provides the hyperlink that will actually open when I click the component reference menu. Now I can right click on the component, go to References, and bring up the datasheet right here in my workspace, or that DigiKey web page I added. This is really nice, but it's also great when you're collaborating 
or you're in a design review, to have access to this kind of data right at your fingertips. While this is a fairly easy and convenient way to add that information, it still requires you to spend some time searching vendor catalogues and web pages to find data sheets and the correct SKU number, which may differ based on part variants, package types such as cut tape or reel, and other factors. And of course, part availability is another concern as well. Wouldn't it save you a lot of hassle? if the ability to search for components, their pricing, availability, and data sheets was available right here in the tool? Well, it would. And it is. Let me show you. Opening the supplier search panel lets you search for parts with a live feed from the supplier catalogs online. For example, I want to find a 3 amp or greater N-channel power MOSFET switch in a SOIC 8 package. So I'll enter MOSFET N-CH3A SOIC. Then I can sort the results by the price or other information that shows up. You can see there are several hundred results to choose from, plus all the most important component data is available right next to the photo in the bottom half of this panel, including the data sheet, and even standard supply multiples. When I'm satisfied that this part is suitable, I can drag this supplier search result and drop it onto the schematic symbol that represents it. Too easy. Now this information is all available right here in the schematic, and when I create my bill of materials, whew, that's going to save a lot of time, especially for the more common components like resistors, caps, inductors. You get the picture. Another really cool thing about having this vendor info in the part is that when you copy this part into a schematic library or make a library from this schematic, all that information stays with it. So you can reuse it over and over and over again. Here, I've created a new schematic library from the project, and that part is in there, including the vendor and supplier information. We have a huge advantage in both a cost and a time-saving sense by using these features to make intelligent design decisions. But Altium is taking it even further. We're working with component manufacturers as much as we can to bring this full circle and provide complete and accurate libraries. Let me show you an example. This switching regulator library not only contains every switcher currently available from National, but it also includes the live supplier catalog information as well as links to product websites and data sheets. So the moment I place one of these parts on a schematic, I know that I have the information I need right there. But what makes it even easier for me is that I can search or sort the parts based on these parameters. And this pricing and availability information at the bottom of the libraries panel is live. So if the supplier updates it, I get the latest information pretty much immediately. OK, so I've found that part I wanted to use in my regulator design here. And I've also added the supplier information for all the other parts too. Now, when I generate my BOM from the Reports menu, I can add in supplier part number, stock level, and pricing information. In the BOM configuration dialog, I can change the supplier options to the currency I use, and also specify the production quantity. Then, Altium Designer can automatically calculate the order quantities, as well as pricing subtotals. I can even check this round up box to get the order quantity to the next price break quantity. With the right BOM template, this can also be used directly as a purchase order. This is great for purchasing officers and engineers alike, whether you're purchasing for a complete production run or just a prototype. The other advantage is that you can use the supplier search to find alternate parts when the original ones have been end of life. This supplier search capability is especially powerful when you combine it with the 95,000 plus components that already come with Altium Designer's libraries out of the box. And even if your company uses its own internal libraries, 
Having the ability to attach supplier and vendor information in this way means your purchasing will be made a lot easier. And you know what? You can help make this system even better. Next time you're dealing with a component manufacturer's rep or providing feedback on the manufacturer's website, tell them you want their libraries in Altium designer format if they want you to use their components. I'm Ben Jordan and thanks for watching.